Hey yo, it's BPM and welcome to It's Complicated. Today I'm going to be showing you three different ways to wear a NATO strap. Here we go. All right, so the most common way you're gonna see a NATO worn is the first way I'm gonna show you. It's also the way I wear mine. Now this is the Alpha Shark Original, not the premium, just a little easier to slide through and um, for the demonstration anyways. So here we go. So you just want the fucking buckle at 12 and you wanna put the end of the strap through the lugs and pull it up till about, you want, I like both of this hardware and this hardware centered between the watch face. So, and that's not too difficult to do. This has to come back up through. Now the reason the strap actually comes up through the watch like this is so if one of the spring bars would fail, the watch head would actually still be saved. Now, put this underneath and there you have it. That is the traditional way to have the NATO on and the most popular way. I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the wrist. Um, anybody curious about the watch size, this is my sub and it's a 40 mil and my wrist size is seven inches. So, there it is on the wrist. Um, this actually could be tucked a little better, here we go. Better shot for you on the wrist there. And um, you got your holes underneath and you have some of the hardware on top, some of the hardware on the bottom. And I like it that way. I think it looks pretty fucking great. Now, you could do the lefty, as I like to call it. And that is the same way of that way, but a little bit reversed. So, well, not a little bit reversed, totally reversed. You want to go through the 6 o'clock at first. Take this through 6. Now, I, I can't, I would never fucking wear it this way, personally. It's a... Uh, it's just not my fucking style. I think it looks a little silly. Kind of looks like if I saw somebody wearing it this way, I might say, hey, you know, you got that backwards. But, you know, the lefties like it because the way you put the watch on, you know, you're, there's the buckle underneath. When you put the watch on, you got to go like through the other fucking way. And this is a real bitch for me. You got to kind of use, you just got to let it ride. There we go. It's got to use fucking gravity or whatever to your fucking advantage. So stick that in there, up through there, and another unnecessary sound effect. Fucking put that in there. And there it is, that way. Hardware underneath. This is like the bulkier side. Um, I like the bulkier side on the outside though, like I said. Now, I'm gonna show you the fucking other way to wear it. Now, this way I'm going to show you, I recommend for smaller watches, something 37 mil, 36 millimeter. I wouldn't do it on a 40 plus or a 40 mil watch. Um, now this gets, it's not tricky, it's just different. So you start the same way we started with the first style, where you're going to put this through the lugs at 12. But instead of go all the way up, you want this piece of hardware above the crown. So you want it right there, right above the crown. Actually, just a little bit here, there. Right above the crown there. And you're gonna put this through here. Zippity fucking doodah. All right, now you have something that looks like this before you put it on your wrist. Then you're gonna actually take this part and you're gonna put your wrist, the easiest way to do it is to do it this way. Make a little loop like this. And then you want to put your wrist through this loop, or put your hand, sorry, through this loop here. And then you're going to put it through this way and buckle it this way. And now what we've done is we have the hardware and the bulkier part underneath the wrist. And just this way on top of the wrist. And I think it's a really fucking clever way to wear the NATO. So, that's it, guys. It's fucking easy. That's, that's probably the most bizarre way I've seen it worn. 
Uh, I like the hardware on the outside, but like I said, for a thinner watch, you know, it really cuts out on the thickness on top. So if you have something smaller, it'll look just, I think it just look, will look a little better on a smaller watch. All right, that's three different ways to wear a NATO strap. Let me know how you prefer to wear your NATO strap, what colors you have, what's your favorite, what kind of watch do you have it on, and I'll see you on the next video.